So this is Aaron. I'm out to see if the salamanders might be out tonight. I have Claire. And somewhere back there is Luke with me, my children. They're gonna help me. Oh, I need the light back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna go see if the salamanders are mating this evening. The conditions are absolutely perfect for it. And we have success. You can hear above me, you can hear a herring. And that was a salamander that just went down the crack. We're gonna find some more. And they're in there. They're absolutely in there. I see one in the water. There's one in the water, Dad. There are several over here. Is there one over here? There are several. It's oh, not there's many. Okay, let's keep our voices low. It's not. Wow, they're everywhere, really. <laughs> so, they come to the same pool where they hatched on the first warm nights of late winter while it's raining. They like it to be above 50 degrees. And the males will drop spermatophores which earlier in the daylight i saw in this exact area the females will come and take those up and then they'll release eggs which are small at first and get bigger as they absorb water those eggs could be in sacks of 100 to 200 eggs each they like to use these thermal pools because they're safer from predators like fish that could eat the eggs. I couldn't even begin to count all the ones that are in there and I can't show on video half of them. But this is absolutely the night. And um, just as a reminder, we we have special permission to be at Carnesty at night, and people aren't normally allowed here at night. Absolutely, this that's is a special a good occasion. Point. Do you guys have anything to say? Any questions? No, no. What really. do you think about this? Um, just for people out there who who don't know this already, like, why are they mainly coming here? Like, why aren't they going everywhere? Well, they come back to where they were hatched themselves, which is pretty fascinating that they have that kind of memory. And they might have gone a half mile away this year and come back to this spot, which is pretty far yeah. for something with uh, two centimeter long legs. Yeah, they're pretty small for um, traveling that far. There's some over here, but not quite as many. But they're not hard to find. <laughs> There's, they're, they're, they're really everywhere. Amphibians like frogs and salamanders and newts, they normally come out to breed when it's raining because, um, that's a more desirable time for them to come out because they breed through their skin. And so they want and they want their skin to be moist. And here we come across a spotted salamander on its way to the vernal pool. You can see where it gets its name, obviously. Beautiful. So they spend most of their life underground. And when it's warm enough, they don't have that adaptation that frogs do to be able to withstand freezing temperatures. So they're deep enough underground to avoid that issue. And so they come out when it's warm enough, like tonight. That's why they when come out raining. normally around the end of winter. Yeah. What do you guys notice about it? It's so yellow. The spots, yeah. Yeah. Why do you think it has yellow spots? Um, probably because in the wild, um, 
colorful animals are normally toxic and it scares away predators? Yeah, good, good guess. Also, it might help like blend in the light of underwater. 